Praise the Lord good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Sunday morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world but jesus christ himself promised he says lo i am with you always i will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world isn't that awesome this morning isn't that greater isn't that mighty isn't that majestic that god himself promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making he said in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come neither dwelling welcome this one sing a big hand god bless you richly sincerely from my heart beloved this sunday morning i release that very special blessing upon your life and i pray that god will bless you physically spiritually socially materially financially educationally every area in your life and whatever you do with your two hands it shall prosper prosper in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name let me break it down today I pray that God will bless your child God will bless your children God will bless your finances he will bless your business he will bless you bless your, your, your bless your business he will bless you on the job give you favor and promotion on the job and whatever you do with your two hands it shall prosper in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name hallelujah thank you Jesus let's give the Lord a hand today for that special blessing this morning isn't he awesome isn't he great isn't he mighty this morning praise God this day I cover everyone who's watching or who are here today who are watching online and who are here today I cover everyone under the blood of Jesus and I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and so powerful the blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness this morning every spirit of witchcraft obia demonic forces evil blacks generational curses whether for a second tour or fourth generational curse I break I reverse in Jesus name yes I plead the blood of Jesus the blood against Yes, the, those curses are broken in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. Yes, every chain is broken today in the name of Jesus. For whom the Son set free is free indeed. You are free today in Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord a hand this morning. You are free in the mighty name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are free by the blood of Jesus. Isn't that awesome today? Hallelujah. Praise God. He said, in his words healing is the children's bread and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed you are healed you are healed we are healed those online are healed today in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name I like to preach to a healed congregation yes because healing is a children's bread and this morning let's pray today father god you can pray with me in your own words father god today i pray that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the holy spirit born out every sickness Born out every pain, born out every disease, born out every infirmities from this mortal man of clay. This prophet this morning, he heal me from every virus, every sickness, every germs, every disease, every infirmities, every evil, and every work of darkness. As I minister your words, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered many be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease 
and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name praise God grab your Bible this morning we go into the Word of God but before you read the Word of God I want to speak to you a little do you ever feel like uh, life shows too many uh, may want much uh, your way, too much punches your way, my friends? Uh, have you ever felt that way? Well, uh, this morning, guess, uh, guess what? This morning, beloved God, but uh, the ultimate fix for all your problems. Uh, yes, he is like your personal life guru today, seeing and knowing, my friends, everything, uh, even the future. Yes, imagine having someone who understands uh, every angle of your life hallelujah knows the best solution of your problems yes when i worry i am basically saying to my friends i am afraid life will turn out to be the way i want it but when i trust god's 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 best solution it's like telling him God, I believe you've got the perfect plan, even if it's not what I had in mind. Praise God and get this straight this morning. If we follow God and trust Him, beloved and friends, He got our back every step of the way. Yes, He can turn our challenges into something wonderful. Isn't that awesome and beautiful? Imagine having someone so loving. Yes, my friends, and strong with the best, with the best solutions. What's theirs to worry about, my friends? There's, there's a deal today. Worry, worry isn't isn't normal, my friends. It's just common. Yes, but it doesn't have to be part of our lives. It's stealing our joy. Yes, distracting us from God and the people we love. Yes, and guess what? Today, my friends, we are in control. God wouldn't tell us to do something we can't handle. Worry and trust, yes, can coexist. So choose, choose to trust God. Put your problems, your life, your issues, and your future in his hands. Let him carry it all, my friends. Worry, worry, and worry, worry, and anxiety. That's just the devil trying to mess with your focus. Don't let it rob you of worship today and love for the people you care about. Here's the real enemy, my friends, an orphan spirit. It's the root of fear. Worry, 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 and anxiety making you feel like you are on your own today. But hey, hey, my friends, you've got the best father in the universe. Stop, stop breathing what you don't have and start celebrating what you got you got him he loves you helping you process yes anything in your big life big or small nothing too much for him life meant to be enjoyed are you hearing me right yes my friends God just coursing through, cruising through and releasing really the relationship with you while you stuck overthinking we're messing up with missing out on the good stuff the connection yes guess what God sees your problems and genuinely wants to help you his love for you is massive yes so you can bring anything and everything to him this morning no deep to let worry anxiety and fear define your life my friend sure sure challenges might pop up yes maybe even with some hallelujah in justification but Jesus said, don't worry about it. He is not just uh, some divine figure this morning. He is your provider. He is protector and promoter in every, every aspect, every relationship. He is a missing piece, the peace, the place you call home. Yes, my friends, think of him as your professor today, revealing, my friends, beautiful new, beautiful new things. Life can be tough, yes, and we all feel stressed and worried at times, beloved and friends. But remember, remember, God doesn't want you to face it alone. He's here to guide you through every step of the way 
way it's not just about God providing solutions to your problem he wants to be everything you need in every situation when you decide to trust God trust God in everything something amazing happens problems start finding solutions trusting God means you don't have to figure everything out on your own you can lean on him and take off the pressure you don't have to keep trying to change things that have frustrated you countless times before trusting God means say my friends I'm giving this I am giving this to you if you can change it maybe it doesn't need changing to so stop worrying stop worrying and try to figure out everything out sometimes you need to try your old way enough to get worn out it's about surrendering and saying okay okay God okay God you know everything about me I surrender I surrender my flaws my faults my weaknesses yes yeah, strength I surrender you can confidently put your problems and worries in the hands of God knowing that he can handle everything worry worry is like expecting the worst but as your your faith in God grows worry diminish it diminishes worry is the opposite of faith this morning don't let worry don't let worry define you don't you don't want Jesus to look at you and say hallelujah here is a person of little faith do you my friends you want to be a person of faith worry often implies doubting whether God can handle a situation but the truth is today God can add your years to your life when you let go of worry and trust in him hallelujah the secret of peace isn't solving every problem my friends it's finding rest in who God is hallelujah when you let go and let God take control here's a beautiful promise hallelujah he'll never leave he'll never leave nor forsake you yes you peace your peace is waiting for you on that path. God doesn't want you to drown in worry and problems today. His desire, my friends, that you're overwhelmed with his love. Your might, your might, you might be thinking you don't have to get it. Any problem, you are endless. Well, God got an answer. Give it all to him. Hallelujah. Give it all to me. Problems, worries, failures, he says, sin. Sin, he says, brokenness. I can handle it says the Lord in fact I am the one who can hallelujah in Matthew chapter 6 it now it gives a clear message about worry he says do not worry about your life he means don't stress about the basics that like what to eat or drink yes away worrying won't add a single hour to your life my friends why stress about clothes that just shows little faith instead focus on seeking God's kingdom and righteousness force force and everything else will fall into place hallelujah don't fret about tomorrow each day has enough challenges of its own and then in Philippians chapter 4 the message is reinforce don't be anxious for anything instead through prayer and petition and thanksgiving present your requests to God yes the result God's peace beyond understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus hallelujah Jesus repeats his advice about not worrying every very plainly very plainly and repetitively if Jesus tells you not to worry it's not to limit us yes my friends because he genuinely cares about your well-being today somehow my friends we allow destructive thoughts 
and potions to flourish contrary to Jesus. Yes, guidance, my friends, in our struggles, we often forget that we have a heavenly Father. Yes, my friends, ready to help us. We need to do what we need to do is acknowledge, acknowledge that we want his help today and trust that he can handle what, what needs to be done. If you're relying solely on yourself to solve every problem, it's no wondering, wonder your stress regardless of strength, wisdom, charisma, wealth, wealth or influence. You are not designed to handle everything. Carry the responsibility of everything means trying to do it all. You have to find solutions, choose the right direction, power through problems, plan for the future and make adjustments all at the speed of life. It's a recipe for stress. Yes, and worry, my friends, but God doesn't want you to go alone. He is there to lead and to guide and to provide every resource you need. It's not just about solving your problems. Today, he wants to be what you need. In every situation, the moment you decide to trust, yes, God, my friends, problems start finding, finding solutions. Trusting God means you don't have to figure out everything. You lean on Him, taking the pressure off. Yes, yourself, my friends, stop trying to change things a million times and getting frustrated. Trust God with all your worries if you can change it maybe it doesn't need changing lower leaning the learning to stop worrying involves trying to put your your way enough to get worn out and finally saying yes okay okay god okay god i surrender i surrender i you know the beginning from the end and everything in between yes in moments of emotional roller roller coaster where talk resume your day and night God offers to take care of your emotions and, th and thinking through Jesus Christ for speak to chapter 5 verse 7 tells us encouraging casting all your cares on God because he cares for you means taking your problems and worries and placing them in God's hands trusting him to handle the outcome worry is the anticipation yes of the negative there is an inverse relationship between faith faith and worry yes as faith flourishes worry my friends the diminishes worry is a negative expression of faith yes in God in God so instead this morning of worry my friends let's have faith let's have faith that God can handle it all in conclusion today consider what God might be prompting you to do in your life right now he has placed a specific ministry idea on your heart yes he has called you into a deeper connection with him yes my friends perhaps he's urging you to serve or get more involved in your church yes community take a moment to observe the needs around you and reflect on how God might be asking you to address them yes my friends if, if you feel like you lack the necessary today resources my friends remember remember that when God calls you to something he equips you for it don't focus on the obstacles instead concentrate on the task at hand being whatever resources you have bring it to Jesus and watch how he can work wonders with them with God my friends all things are possible trust in him today give your concern to God and let him do his transformative work in and through you beloved my brothers and sister family
family, relatives, loved ones in Christ, I want you to listen carefully to this message from Jesus Christ. He said, you don't have to worry about impossible tasks because I will take care of them just as the winds and the storms obey my command. So the storms of doubt will find peace in your heart. Come to me, come to me, and I will bring you the rest to seek. Seek, I want peace in your days and sincerity in your nights. Yes, you are blessed beyond measure yes but uh, sometimes uh, you overlook those blessings giving more importance uh, to fear that will never happen or people who have no real power over you uh, urge you my friends to remain calm remain calm and do not pay attention to the news to the gossip or threats uh, or of others as I am the one who holds your feet in your in my hands even in thousands rise against you and even if you face the consequences of your mistakes do not do not be afraid for you are my beloved child and I will protect you from harm hallelujah even in the midst of chaos yes when those around you lose hope hallelujah be strong be strong and brave because I will never abandon you this is a profound testimony of my love for you I am speaking to you now yes and Entering into your heart and healing the healing the doubts that have troubled your mind for so long. I love you and I'm showing it to you at this very, very moment. And I remove the scars that others have left on you today and the pain you have endured at their hands, beloved and friends. But know this this morning, everything you've been through was not in vain. Yes, was not in vain today. You have you have the strength. You have the strength. You have the wisdom and 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 maturity to listen, listen and stand up for those you love. Stand up. Your time for liberation has come, and you are now ready to be vessel of my love. Carry my light to those living, those living in darkness. However, today your enemies are weak of your potential yes which is why they seek to cause trouble yes and steal your peace hallelujah if you allow them to disturb your sleep or lose your faith anxiety may overwhelm you again my friends but remember today this truth, my love for you, my love for you is immeasurable. My mercy is limitless and my Holy Spirit will not allow you to be harmed. Believe that even if you stumble and fall, I will lift you up. Yes, and do not think for a moment that I have torn my attention from you. If you stumble into the snares of your enemies, I will rescue you. If your faith falters and your heart is filled with, with negativity, I will continue to fight for you and purify your soul. I will purify your soul with my word. I will let alone keep you away from my love. Oh, Father, today, now oh, I encourage you to pray this prayer this morning. Just open your heart, beloved, to pray. Pray with me this morning. Morning, Lord Jesus. Yes, I come before you in prayer this morning, seeking your presence during tough times, tough times in my life, just as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were in the fiery furnace, oh Father, but unharmed because they were close to you. I ask that you be in close proximity to me today as long as I am in your presence, oh Father, no fire.
fire can destroy me. I believe that being close to you, oh Father, means I am protected and I set free. I set free from the chains that were intended to bind me. Oh, to the flames, to the flames, Father God, today, just as the three Hebrew boys had no power to overcome the heat. Yes, but their strong belief in you meant no harm. Keep come to them. I pray for a similar miracle in my life today. May there be evidence, so oh Lord, that I have been, I have been in a fire because you have delivered me. Oh Father, I pray that there will be no sign or trace of my struggle. Oh Father, for whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah. According to Ephesians, whom the Son set free is Three Ephesians 6 16. I take the shield of faith uh, to extinguish all the flaming darts uh, of the evil one, Lord Jesus. Uh, as I lift my faith uh, today, I ask that you extinguish uh, all the fiery darts uh, that the enemy sent, uh, sent my way, deliver me from the darts uh, intended to rob me of my joy today, destroy my to destroy my marriage or family, strip me from my finances or destroy my peace in Jesus name and I pray that you take all these attacks meant for evil oh father and turn them into good today heavenly father this Sunday morning I humbly bow before you oh father acknowledging you as the great I am today the great I am I believe that King Jesus Lord Jesus you can still perform miracles in this earth today I pray the whole Holy Spirit will teach us to change our perspective, guiding us to walk by faith and not by sight. Open, O oh Father, our spiritual eyes today, Lord Jesus, and transform the way we see things. Move the scales from our eyes, O oh Father, and grant us a renewed mind today. Fill us with the Holy Spirit this morning. Infuse us with boldness and courage help us to become believers yes so oh father who instead of acting uh, then things will turn around for our good oh father faithfully wait on you may be the kind of believers who inquire about what you want us to learn to learn in the midst of storms and true situation remind us today that although the afflictions of the righteous are many you are God who delivers us from them all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we direct our focus this morning from the negative and help us cultivate a mind, the mandate on the good things promised in the Bible. Let us hold on to promises such as Psalms 34, verse 17 says, which declares, when the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and deliver them out of all their troubles. We praise you. We praise you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, knowing that in this fight, in this fight, you are in our corner fighting the battle for us, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. I pray, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Isn't that awesome? There is the tremendous power of God the Holy Spirit in this room today I know many are sick many still are sick unto death many are in their sick beds in the hospitals in their homes with all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease but under this anointing, I want to introduce you to the healer this morning. He is not only the healer of our soul, but he is the healer of our body. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I am healed. You are healed. We are healed. In Jesus' name, let's give him a big hand today. Yes, my friends. Hallelujah. He is awesome. He is a healer today. Yes, my friends. 
hands healing is the children's bread today and today is your day for healing and a miracle wherever you're watching from this morning from the USA the UK Canada the Caribbean any part of Europe or the world today is your day for a miracle yes my friends Jesus Christ took 39 stripes upon his back according to medical doctors there are 39 major sicknesses and pain and disease in this world today that is plaguing mankind but I believe from the depth of my heart Jesus took a stripe for each one of those sicknesses and pain and disease that you can be free from in Jesus name the man who designed this watch knows every part how it's functioning and how it's working and God who made us he formed man out of dust and breathed into his nostrils and man became a living soul my friends God knows every organ every tissue every every bone every marrow every joint in your body Body, every part of your body there is no big deal for him to give you a brand new organ or a brand new tissue or heal your body and this morning my friends I'm gonna call out a few sicknesses those who are here and around the world if you're suffering from cancer if you're suffering from AIDS from COVID from diabetes heart problem liver problem lungs problem kidney problem a blood issue, a blood dialysis problem, prostate cancer, migraine headache, what the case may be, I want to introduce you to the healer today. If you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, the healing God can touch you today and heal you. If you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame, today is your day for a miracle. Yes, my friends, God going to touch you this morning in the name of Jesus. Are you ready? If you're feeling a boring in your stomach right now God is uh, is God the Holy Spirit uh, is burning out that cancer he's burning out that sickness uh, he's burning out that pain he's burning out the disease that person with arthritis pain in your fingers your knees your toes your elbows if you're feeling a burning right now God is healing you he's taking away that arthritis pain that person with the migraine headache uh, it is going right now in the name of Jesus uh, that demon possessed person I command those harassing demons to leave your body right now. Be gone. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Be free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. I think I see in the spirit realm that people are being healed. All manner of sicknesses are going, but I'm going to still send forth that anointing this morning. Right now, wherever you are, sitting in your living room, in your dining room, in your kitchen, in your car, in your office, on the street with your phone in church or right here wherever you are today. Yes, prepare to receive your healing. Prepare to receive your miracle. Prepare to receive your deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed. Many are saved. Many are delivered. Many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. Beloved, it's the power of God. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. Yes, you're healed. You're free. You're delivered in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Write me. Text me. Call me. Go back and check with the doctors that sickness is gone that cancer is gone that person with a shut down kidney yes you're too old to take a transplant God has touched you that kidney is okay yes God has healed people from that growth all manner of sicknesses I do not have time to call out your sickness but go back and check with the doctors write me text me call me let me know what God has done for you my friends and beloved it's been a great joy and privilege to be here this Sunday morning to minister the word of God God bless you richly I love you very much in the love of God do have a sweet and wonderful day enjoy the rest of the Sunday in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name I'll see you in the next session in Jesus name amen and amen thank you Jesus praise God hallelujah amen praise God